Here we go for the last 30 minutes. The start of the last quarter of the 1976 VFL Grand Final. Hawthorne, 10 points in front, and the roars of 120,000 people from the free kick, from the boundary, from the ball up at least. Nolan takes it away, down to Melrose to the forward line. Knocked away by Shimmelbush, he's appealing for the mark. Play on was the call. He runs back from the half forward line, goes out wide looking for Burns who's in the pocket. He went to the ground, no free kick. Running after the ball out there is Feltham and hot on his hammer, this talking horn. Feltham lost it and then forced it over the boundary line on the outer half forward flank for a throw in. But North from that centre bounce were first into attack. 35 seconds of the last quarter gone and here's the throw in. Harry Cable in picture there, has had only nine kicks. Last week he had in the vicinity of 25. Paul Feltham trying very hard. Cable's in there burrowing after the ball again. The dominant player last week, Cable. About 10 hand passes and 22 to 25 kicks, only nine today. Jones against Nolan. North Melbourne in the dark short, both with vertical stripes. Keith Gregg chasing after the ball. A negative passenger play. North Melbourne with the use of a sour easterly breeze towards the main scoreboard or Jollymont, uh, no, not the Jollymont, the city end of uh, the MCG. Dawson has the kick smothered. Tight defence by Hawthorne. Matthews pushed there by Sutton, but play allowed to go. Hawkinghorn gets the hand pass in the direction of, of Rollings, but interception there by Melrose. He gets the kick back, a negative sort of kick. Didn't travel very far, and Jones in there for one of his rare marks for the day. Hand pass. Doesn't go for the kick. Looking for Polkinghorne. Hawthorne bottling the game up over there on centre wing. Ablett, who was quiet in the third term. Taken by Felton. Back towards the goal square. Chance for Schimmelbush, but he shepherds the play by. Here's a chance for Poswick, and he's shot at the ball. Beautiful uh, defence there by Bremner, as he chose to just uh, hammer the ball through with the fist. And Hawthorne now hold a nine-point lead. North Melbourne, 10-9-69. Hawthorne, 10 18 78. It's Kelvin Moore now to kick that ball well out of the play. The wind's pretty strong out there at the MCG and surging and fell right into the arms of Keith Gregg, who was involved in a very solid bump and or knock in the first quarter, but he's fought back. And now that he's been playing on the wing, he's giving North that drive they need. A beautiful kick from Gregg into the goal square, but where the North Melbourne forwards is that great, talented Peter Knight's threw himself right into the centre of that pack to take a very strong and telling mark. It's only his second mark. He took the first one in the third term, but he's been a great spoiler on the day, as have David uh, O'Halloran and Ian Bremner and Brian Dooge. He's kicked out towards Ede on the wing. He's been uh, the master of Chisnell today, but Chisnell got that kick away. Cable, he'll do something. Quickly caught to Dawson. Dawson's half kick comes down towards the forward line. Dooge is in there again, thrashing away in that pack, not giving an inch and really putting on the fireworks as he bounces up like a rubber ball, drives that kick out of the wing, but the umpire's whistle is gone. The ball will come back and it will be balled up in about the half-forward line from North Melbourne. There's 10 points of difference. Hawthorne are 10-18, 9 points rather. North Melbourne are 10-9. Just under three minutes gone in the last quarter. Nolan trying to direct it down to Cable, but it'll be taken away. Polkinghorne overran it, then lost it. Chance for John Byrne and also for Goad, but Polkinghorne, an effective but awkward kick, a long one up there to the forward line. Out goes Dent, streaming out in front of the ball. He was retarded and got the free kick, and a bad piece of play by Kelvin Matthews, who made no effort to go for the ball, and uh, it was spotted. And that's the value of the two-umpire system, because Bill Della was about 10 metres away and saw it quite clearly. Now Dench. Turns defence into attack. It's going to fall into the middle of the centre square. Nolan lumbering after it, trying to tap it on. Too fast for Cable. This is Scott. In went Sutton, but uh, it was too late. The handball had already come out. Chisnell doing well against the two players and beat them both. Now streams down towards the uh, half-forward line, taken by Peter Knights. Ricochets off Melrose's back, straight to Bremner. And Bremner pushed in the back. Yes, he was, although he was very close to being over the line, but pushed before he went over, and it will take the free kick on the members' half-back flank. Four minutes gone into the last term and still Hawthorne by nine points. A big pack, it's knocked loose. Rollings was waiting for it beautifully. There's a pass on offer to Kelvin Matthews. Blight behind him, knocked it away. It's loose, this is Goad. Twisting, turning, dodging. Gave the ball to Kelvin Matthews across the wall. Brother Lee is it? Yes it is, he's twisting and turning also. Lines up the goals from 35 metres out. Dench on the line, a great pass. David Dench. Read it beautifully, and Matthews with the left foot kick couldn't get the distance. And here go North again. My word, you start to worry when they handball in defence, but they're out of trouble this time. Nolan, second time, the mark not paid, and it's the Hawthorne small men taking advantage of it. Deed gives it back to Rollings. He's close to the line. Dodges, twists, turns, still in possession. Two or three tackles applied, no free kick. He bounces up, got the kick back in, but went straight to Dawson. 
Dawson was held without the ball and will get the free kick. Half back line on the members' side. Hawthorne 10-18, North 10-9, five minutes gone into the last quarter. Mark Dawson going for the kick down the members' stand flank. High fly there was O'Halloran. Behind the plate to back him up is Scott. Has the hand pass on offer to uh, Peter Knights, and Knights accepted. High kick, putting his forwards under pressure. We're waiting for it. In front was Ablett, knocked away from him by Greg. Cable is there, so is Gumbleton. Gumbleton's kick, when he's pushed, uh, is an ineffective one, and the mark taken by David Polkinghorne, who since half-time has played extremely well. A hand pass to Ian Bremner. Very tight defence. Hawthorne standing up to this North Melbourne pressure. Mark attempted there, one-hander by Lee Matthews, knocked forward for Hawthorne. But good defence by Malcolm Blight. This time, Christian turns his way out of trouble and fires down towards Darrell Sutton, who tried the spectacular switch catch. Couldn't take it. Bremner on top of the ball. Umpire watching play very closely, but that great defence again by Hawthorne. Good uh, team combination. Peter Knights up towards the half forward. The mark taken by Gary Cowden. Cowden centre half back after six minutes of this final term, and Hawthorne holding a nine point lead. Beautifully placed kick finds Barry Cable out on the flank, and there goes that dynamic handball of his right in the arms of Keith Gregg, and away go North Melbourne into an attacking mood across the centre half forward. Up goes Ick, and a beautiful catch there by Bremner. And the Hawks are giving nothing away. They're really on top of the situation. It's Knights that's taken that wonderful mark, and uh, he's getting better as the game goes along. Fine kick, great defenders kick out to the wing, but Keith Gregg's there to save the day for uh, North Melbourne. Wheeling round now, the handball across the top to Gumbleton. He's a bit slow and his three opponents there, but Gumbleton battling on. Slotten's that one out of the pack. Across the felt and he's on the wettest part on the ground there. He'll have to take short steps to hold his footing into the centre half forward position. And how can they beat this man? Peter Knights it took his first mark in the third quarter, and since then he's taken three great marks in this in this last term. We're waiting on in the scoreboard. That 69 belongs to North Melbourne. The 78 belongs to Hawthorne. And the Hawks are really fighting it out. They mean to win this 76 grand final. Another 60 metre kick by Knights into a crowded area. Punched away from the pack. Taken by Melrose into the hands of uh, Byrne. Across towards centre half forward towards Sutton. Knocked away by Knights or Dooge this time. Big foot of uh, the need at this stage as, uh, as he gets it. Kicking it towards the half forward line. But it's North Melbourne this time. Quickly taken by uh, Dench. Gee can run with the ball. He's caught. Had to get rid of a wobbly handball that comes to pick up by Tucker. Has time to steady and think. A long kick up to Hendry. He spilt it. Blight coming through. Deflected it across. A time saver. Out of bounds. And North Melbourne live again. 10-9 North Melbourne. 10-18 Hawthorne. 10, about seven minutes are gone. Here's the boundary throw in. Still on that half forward line for Hawthorne. Martello tried to knock it back. But Cowton gave it down to Dawson. To the half forward line. Bad bounce there for O'Halloran. But not for Rod Ede, who read it well. He drives it back. It's loose. A free kick against Dench. A free kick against David Dench. And you saw it for retarding Mike Moncrief. Oh, and that could be a very bad one. Moncrief has kicked two goals, three. But he is directly in front of goal and only 45 to 50 metres out. Umpire Bill Della was very close handy and watched that. And Barassi on the phone again. The message I would think would be going straight out to David Dench. And let's watch Moncrief. He's lining up, taking plenty of time. He's kicked two goals. He's directly in front. He lines up with the drop punt. He's put it high into the air. He's put it straight through for the goal. The third goal to Michael Moncrief. 97 goals for the year. A wonderful performance. And while all the hoo has been made about Hawthorne, we forgot about Moncrief, but what a great performance. 97 for the year. Well, it's now 11-18, 84 to North 10-9-69 and we've played nine minutes into this last quarter. Hawthorne desperately hanging on and North desperately trying to get back into the match. This is umpire Dello with the ball. There's the uh, telephone message coming down from Barassi again to uh, runner Laurie Dwyer. Former champion Mick Nolan with the penalty in the centre. Meantime, put to put North Melbourne back into attack. Crowd of about 115,000 and Peter Knights for the fourth time in this quarter Spectacular high marking. Undoubtedly one of the best marks in Australian football today. Peter Knights back towards the member stand flank. Underneath the ball is Lee Matthews. Well shepherded for by Barry Rollings, who just blocked the North Melbourne player out, and that was Graham Milrose. The kick by Matthews is close to the line. It's out and over on the full, and will be a penalty against Hawthorne. Taken by Malcolm Blight. Yes, number 15, Blight. Been fairly quiet. And he and Cable, match winners last week, 
have uh, not really uh, inspired North Melbourne terribly much today. Daryl Sutton taking a nice mark at centre half forward, just short of centre half forward. He goes wide, looking for Croswell, who's making pace towards the outer flank. The hand pass coming back to Greg. And Greg will have time to steady. Has he anyone to fire for? He decides to go for the run himself, trying to do it all. And spears the pass in towards Pelton. Pelton not paid. Ryan Dug, it should have been. Why wasn't that the penalty against the Hawthorne player anyway? And Barassi is obviously most upset. Most of the North Melbourne supporters are, that's certain. Nice mark taken by Alan Goad, just short of centre. Hawthorne leading 84 to 69 after 12 minutes of play last quarter. Oh, Hawthorne kick up towards Moncrief. Pat looking out with Dinch. Dinch looking for the free kick. This time, uh, tip for tat because he gave one away to Moncrief earlier. North Melbourne's delicate handball, desperate handball. Glides across now towards Cowton. Long striding across the centre. Back towards centre half forward. No one's giving an inch as Puck handballs it quickly across towards Aglet. Up it's been quiet since the first half. A well placed kick up towards John Henry. Henry hasn't got his goal kicking boot with him today. In fact, he's kicked one goal seven for the match, which is not a great performance. But it's a grand final and there's been plenty of pressure. 80 metres out with a beautiful long kick, but the wind's got hold of it, dropping it short. Moncrief and Dench knock it through for a behind. At the 10 minute mark in the grand final of the last quarter to boot, it's Hawthorne. So scoring rate has slowed 11 19 to North's 10 9. Now Dench goes again towards the outer side, 11 minutes gone. Out there is Ablett and also Martello running through strongly as Gumbledon, who's had one of his quiet days, picks it up inside the boundary line, goes back inboard and finds his skipper in Greg. Greg now changes pace and direction, boots down to centre half forward. Polkinghorne set himself for the mark and took it well. And the Ross Henshaw is uh, running the boundary line in preparation to come onto the ground. We'll wait and see who does go off to North Melbourne. Terry Moore, who's been quiet, knocks the ball away. Maybe it's Moore to come off. It's loose. A chance for Scott as he streams away from the centre of the ground and puts a long one up. Waiting back there is Dawson. Dawson almost had the mark. It was knocked loose. Kelvin Matthews. He lines up from 25 metres out with a snapshot and he has put it through for a goal. Second goal to Kelvin Matthews. Dawson had himself all set for the mark, couldn't take it. It was knocked loose. It could almost have been a free against Matthews. Henshaw standing next to the goal umpire, waiting to come onto the ground. And what a great goal to Hawthorne at this time. Yes, Hawthorne starting to look very good now. Their defence is standing up to anything North can throw at them. Uh, North lacking marking power. Knights risking everything, flying for his marks as if he didn't have a short shoulder. And uh, they look they look, they look good at the moment, Hawthorne. 13 minutes gone into the last quarter. Back in the centre again, watching to see who comes off for Ross Henshaw to come out of the ground. Melrose a skimming kick up towards the half-forward line to Daryl Sutton, and Sutton caught high, has the chance to score here from about 60 metres out. Waiting for leads. Croswell telling him to kick the ball down to the goal square. He ignored the lead by Croswell, who was most angry about it, but Sutton, a long kick of a ball, scored five goals, and two of them were monstrous kicks last week. Here's another long shot for goal, but just when he's needed, he's offline. Darrell Sutton, two behinds for the day. And Hawthorne holding a lead now of 22 points. 12-19, 91 to 10-10-70. That's uh, 21 points. Kelvin Moore, low kick. Back towards the centre. Got plenty of distance, though. Alan Goad has Ablett outside him, but dummies the hand pass to that player. Has a chance to line him up now. Does so. Good football by Goad. And nice team play by uh, Ablett, who has all the time in the world now to steady and fire Hawthorne back into attack. Who's there? Gary Cowton for North. And Cowton takes a saving mark. The hand pass to David Dench going past. And uh, Henshaw still standing on the boundary line waiting for a player to come off. Dench back towards centre wing. The mark tried there by uh, Simmerbush. Didn't come off. And ooh, tough defence by Bremner. Sees that ball over the line again. The kick to Schimmelbush, though. Mm. And Schimmelbush takes it on the wing. And he's had a quiet day today because they've had a stopper on him. And Ian Bremner. Down towards, oh, Felton got up high, couldn't hang on to it, but Tuck waited down well. He's played a, a sensible game, Tuck, today. Trapped by Alan Goad, good play. There goes a handball. I must say that Hawthorne's handball has equaled North's today. A directed kick out there to the wrong player, giving Dawson a long chase after it. Out he goes, coming out in his Moncrief. He's fumbled, Moncrief slipped in that front position. It's like a racehorse at the moment. He breaks away, got a teammate alongside him. Long striding, Dench gets to it, couldn't hang on to it. Picked up quickly by Henshaw, who's on the ground now. Uh, Burns, Burns off. is off. That's uh, John Burns, the centre play into the centre. And John Burns, a very dejected man of having to miss out in the last moments of uh, a grand final. But he's put in pretty well. 
It's Peter Knights. Or is it Brian Dooge? Across to Mike Tuck. Hawthorne's turn now to break up North Melbourne's defence. And a wild kick by Tuck, rolling up towards that forward pocket. Easy striding Malcolm Bright picks up close to the ground. Heads off in the other direction. Left boots that down towards Greg on the wing. Beautiful Ooh. mark. Great sandwich to him. Knocked every breath of wind out of him. And Keith Greg is hurt. Lee Matthews was there again running one way and Greg going the other. Uh, uh, that, was, that was a fair clash, that one. They yeah, both going to the it, ball. Greg being so yeah. slightly built would have felt every inch of, uh, of the weight of Lee Matthews there as he came in. That was a strong mark. Take nothing away from him. A great mark. And the second time that Greg uh, has been down badly hurt for the match. But that was a fair one. I back you out there, Serge. And uh, North Melbourne in trouble because they have 19th and 20th off. It's uh, David... David Manane. Is it Peter Manane Peter coming Manane, yes. Warming up for Hawthorne. The Hawthorne runner going across towards, looks to be the back pocket position. Moncrief. Maybe Moncrief could be going off. There's a mark in play and a good one to O'Halloran. O'Halloran plays on from centre half back up. Cowton gets front position. Second, third time. He got a free kick anyway. If the mark hadn't have been paid, he goes on with handball. A little silly, but it'll go to Gumbledon. Gumbledon feeds it on to Henshaw. Henshaw... Well placed it, but Knights got there. Good play, Stephen Nick as he knocked it on. Schimmelbush overran it. Bremner got to him, hit it to the boundary line. Good play by Bremner. Should be a push in the back to Schimmelbush. And it's not, but it should have been against Bremner because the opposite one was played before. Off the ground, Kelvin Matthews, and on Peter Manane for Hawthorne. Time check, 16 and a half minutes gone. A handy lead, 12-19 Hawthorne, 10-10 north. A chance now for Lee Matthews. Lee Matthews up towards the half forward line as his brother Kelvin walks off the ground and there's a mark to Henry but a free kick to Malcolm Blight. Free kick to Blight on the half back line. Kelvin coming off the ground and now Blight about to put North back into attack. Hawthorne leading by 21 points after 17 minutes of this final term and holding on to this lead and possibly the 1976 BFL Grand Final. David O'Halloran towards centre half forward out wide. Ablett tons of pace. Out sprinting uh, Paul Feltham, and that's no mean feat because Feltham was pretty fast himself. And Ablett firing in towards the goal square, the chance from behind for uh, Scott, but on the ground is Cowton, all trying for the hand pass. He was given plenty of latitude, plenty of time to get rid of it. Look for Henshaw, but the boundary line too close. 17 and a half minutes of play, 21 points the margin, a huge crowd, ideal conditions, MCG. Gumbledon gets the tap away. Where are the North Melbourne Rovers? Feltham comes in. So too does Ablett, though. Cable tried to smother. And the kick from uh, Ablett is high, wide and handsome. And there'll be a free kick North Melbourne's way because it was over the line on the full. Ross Henshaw with the ball. 18 minutes of play in the final turn. Henshaw just on the ground now. Hand pass to Mark Dawson. And Dawson along the outer flank. A very quiet crowd at this stage with uh, Hawthorne holding command. Matthews. Not terribly popular with the North Melbourne fans. They thought that he treated uh, Keith Gregg unfairly once or twice today. Certainly on one occasion. There's a free kick this time to that man, John Henry, who has kicked one goal eight. 17th kick. 17th kick coming up for Henry. The kick, a long one. Putting pressure on the North Melbourne defence again. Moncrief, front position against Dench, knocked away from him and over the line and out of play. Coming up to 18 and a half minutes gone in this final term. Hawthorne's lead 21 points. And it's a good lead too. It means North Melbourne would need to kick four goals to win the game. And can they do it? I don't think they can now at, uh, at that time, which is running out for them. A lucky mark maybe, maybe not. Don Scott played a, a game for Hawthorne today. Not for himself, a game for Hawthorne. He's a rugged, nasty, abrasive character, but he's all Hawthorne. Taking plenty of time now at that half fourth position. You go in, there's a lot of players up there. Martello, Jones, Martello there. Fell right into his arms. Unreal. And North Melbourne seem to have lost their poise. They've certainly lost their concentration, that approach, because Mar Martello virtually walked into that mark. <laughs> the big fellow, after his fifth mark, he's no more than 25 metres out. He didn't really drive that kick through. And... Uh, Consequently, he's kicked the behind. But uh, nevertheless, it's 22 points a lead now that Hawthorne have notched up. And the time at the moment is what? 20 minutes? 20 minutes gone in this last quarter of the 76 grand final. Very handy lead of 22 points. Dench again to the outer side. In front is Jones. Not going for the mark. No free kick paid. North still trying to gain possession. Bulldozing his way throughout their polking horn. 
back to Hendry, who's in trouble. Shrugs the tackle off, lines up for his second goal from 40 metres out. And puts it through. And that might be the stealer. Listen to the crowd. That might be the sealer. Two yes. goals to Henry. Yes, that'll be the sealer. Here's the fellow who started them off in the first quarter. Just disorganising the North Melbourne defence. And it's only fitting that he's... It's a likely sealer, that one, with, uh, at the 20-minute mark. They've got a very big lead now, Hawthorne. And uh, North Melbourne showing signs of tiredness. They're not concentrating on their tackling. Their handball is getting squared, and their game's starting to fall away. Light goes down onto the forward line, maybe in a last-ditch effort, but it could be a last-ditch run. It could be too late. This is Melrose in the way O'Halloran. He lost the ball. Melrose on the bottom of the pack, looking for the free kick. He'll be last man up, but umpire Bill Della will ball it up. It's at centre-half forward with North just into attack. Nolan leaning over Scott, who takes it away and loses it himself. Taken by Chisnell, a long one down. Kelvin Moore, Blight running the same way. It's loose. Croswell overran the ball, but the free kick will go to Kelvin Moore against Malcolm Blight for running it more in his efforts to take that mark. And so a Hawthorne free kick. And a timely one. It's deep in the last line of defence. The time now, 21 minutes gone. And Hawthorne, 13-20-98. A 28-point lead over North Melbourne, 10-10-70. Kelvin Moore along the grandstand side. Members stand side of the ground. Peter Knights went up, couldn't take the mark. Michael Tuck, the hand pass to Rodney Ede, who played well today on his wing, taking the points against Peter Chisnell. Cowton, the chance to take the mark. Oh, bad misunderstanding there with Ross Henshaw. And it's uh, certainly got Hawthorne in. This is Ede, who'll pop it over the heads. Oh, bad kick by Ede. Going right across towards the outer side. Keith Gregg leading in the race for the ball against the main. The ball almost sneaks in for behind. Certainly not a good kick by Ede who had uh, really vacant land to kick to. Still danger here for North Melbourne. The margin already 28 points. Gumbledon, Moncrief lurking behind the pack. He'll line up. North Melbourne defenders seemingly uninterested. And he's just off line. Yes, he is. 97 goals for Michael Moncrief this season. Three goals, four today to him. And uh, he certainly showed a lot of life around that full forward line. David Dench with the kickoff, 22-minute mark, final term, 29 points the difference, all on way. Extremely long kick, it lands almost at the centre of the ground as Schimmelbush rushes in, commits his body, and he's still battling it out. He breaks away and wins the ball well. Out towards a half-forward flank, Malcolm Bite behind play there, he couldn't make up the necessary ground as O'Halloran playing his first grand final and doing it in great style, gets the handball to Knights, he puts it towards a half-forward line. Henry was knocked down in an attempt to get that ball. Here goes Big Martello with his yellow sole splashing and a half kick shot towards the full forward position, but North Melbourne have the best running at the moment. This Greg now in the back pocket gets it, shoots that long handball out towards Dench. Dench onto his boot now, driving North Melbourne towards the wing. Cable, Melrose, but running through there is Polkinghorn, also a first grand final player. Not a good piece of handball, back to Ablett. He turns, has a look, drives the ball towards centre half forward to Hendry, upset in midair. Picked up quickly now by Felton. Picked up beautifully. In desperation, he's finding it out as Jones kicks it from in the middle of the pack. It's going to land in the goal square, and it's bounced right across the front and hit the behind post. Phew. Bernie Jones has just scored a behind. It's funny how the percentages work out. Hawthorne has beaten North Melbourne on the four occasions they've played this year, and it looks as though they've got them today. That was strange. That hit the behind post. It could have almost been out of bounds, but now Dawson takes advantage of the short one. Goes out to Feltham again, who hasn't stopped trying today for North. Not a well-placed kick, and into the waiting arms of Rollings. And Hawthorne now, with so much spirit, sensing the grand final as theirs, are running all over the ground to cut off passes and make leads and moves of their own. Rollings, wide out on the outer wing position. It's still 100-70, to 70, a straight five-goal lead to the Hawks. Turning the tables on last year's 55-point loss to the same team. Bursting his way through, Hendry lost it. Still has it, ran into a wall. Couldn't get rid of it. A free kick for holding the ball. It's to go north way and fell from there again, doing a power of work for North in defence in the dying stages of this match. Barassi saying, kick it quickly. 24 and a half minutes gone into the last term. Hawthorne, five goals in front. O'Halloran from behind. Could almost have been a mark for John Byrne in front. But perhaps the recruit of the year, this fellow, David O'Halloran, recruited locally from Ivanhoe Grammar, has had such a wonderful season for Hawthorne and has done the job expected of him beautifully this season and again today. And this is kick number 13. It's a long one, too. Again into the scoring area for Feltham. Missed there by Count. Now Feltham tries to tackle. Hendry's 25, burrowing through. And uh, it's umpire 
Kevin Smith to bounce. 25 metres out from Hawthorne's goal. We're into time on now in this last quarter of the grand final. Extra time only, and it's Cable out of the pack, but in front out there is Douge. Douge was tipped anyway and got the free kick, but had the mark safely in front of Blight. And Hawthorne players everywhere. Taking it out there is Ablett. Ablett has plenty of time now from the outer half forward flank to kick the ball long into the scoring area. Jeff Ablett, two behinds to his credit today. Come out for his 18th kick, and he's been one of uh, Hawthorne's match winners. Lands it right in the square with uh, John Henry there, number 25. Two goals, eight to him. Cable pushed to the ground, ridden to the ground by Lee Matthews and Barry Cable. Strangely quiet today. Now it's Cowton. The blonde hair of uh, Gary Cowton was uh, about all I could see there uh, be below Lee Matthews. So Gary Cowton at centre half back, in towards the centre. Chance for Bremner off hands, coming through as uh, Peter Knights. Been a good player for the Hawks today. Daryl Sutton runs into a, a real bone crusher from Ian Bremner who shrugs off a tackle and great defensive football by rough, tough Ian Bremner. Nothing stands in his way. He's slowing play down too. 26 minutes of play gone. Five goals the difference. 100 to 70. Before this huge crowd at the MCG. The chance for Martello to take the mark. Pushes Terry Moore aside. Alan Goad is impeded and he'll take the free kick. North always second to the ball in these... Uh, last 10 minutes or so as uh, they probably sensed defeat as much as Hawthorne sensed victory in the, the cup and the championship cup that goes with the premiership for 1976. Alan Goad driving in towards centre half forward looking for Moncrief again the mark dropped there by David Dench North Melbourne making plenty of errors obviously dispirited. Dench recovering well though this time and finds Keith Gregg Gregg half back flank five goals the difference 100 to 70 Good kick from Greg. Hit towards Sutton. Got up high. Couldn't take the ball with him. Tuck goes out the back door with an arm across the shoulder. Up towards the forward line. But we'll go with a push in the back in any case. And uh, as you said, uh, David, that the Hawthorne players are certainly wasting time now. And not a bad tactic either because they've got the game wrapped up. North Melbourne's two only behinds in the final term were just not enough. Whatever they can do now, it'd be a little too late. As Goad puts a long kick up towards full forward. Taken by Cable. Cable boots it back towards the centre. Sutton will fly from behind, but the man in front must take it. And it's uh, Oho on the game. Gee, what a great game this young fellow's played. His marking is good. His kicking is even better. His handball is great. He's the complete footballer. From the centre of the ground now, that long left foot kicks coming around. Spilling from the hands of the players. A good tackle goes on there, and Cable comes out with the goodies. A long kick straight down towards Malcolm Blight. Up he goes, and up he marks too. The handball away, and North Melbourne just... Silence gone. The Hawks have had revenge on last year. They've won the 76th Grand Final. The final scores as they're related. Barassi and Kennedy embrace each other. Two great sports. The final scores. Hawthorne has won 13-22. 100 exactly. North Melbourne, 10-10-70. goal win to Hawthorne. Victors over last year's winners by 30 points and captain and coach embrace on the field and Don Scott and John Kennedy have given so much for this win.